bag, making beats in Logic Pro X. Make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram. That's at CJ Grizz underscore. Been CJ Grizz. You'll find me at CJ A Y G R I Z. Uh, make sure you check out at Create to Learn on Instagram. Also check out the hashtag Create to Learn. That's what this is all about. I'm glad you guys uh, stuck with the videos. You guys uh, keep watching. It's awesome. Uh, if you watched the first video, you know uh, I introduced you guys the ins and outs of Logic Pro, stuff like that. Uh, introduced myself. Uh, second video, we made our melodies. We did all our instruments, uh, all that stuff. Third video, we made uh, our drum stuff drum tracks, hi-hats, all that stuff. You know it now. Uh, I want to talk about arrangement. So we're going to get into arranging. Basically like the structure of the song, the timing of the song, you know, gets into different moments of the song. And I just want to show you guys the basics for now. So I hope you guys know what like a verse is, a hook is. Uh, if you don't know what a hook is, like if you listen to a song, and you know, like it's usually like the name of the song or like the most repetitive part of the song. That's usually what the hook is. The verse, like you probably heard people like, yo, spit your verse. So we made everything we have. We have all our building blocks here. Let's listen to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip this down. We're going to work backwards now. So everything we created, we're going to bring it. We're going to work backwards. And uh, we're going to use like four bar patterns, eight bar patterns. So for the intro, usually intros are like four to eight bars. But for this one, we're going to do a four bar pattern. So I'm gonna mute these. I'm gonna mute some of the stuff in the drum. Mute the 808. Maybe I'll mute the chip tune lead. Cool. So what I'm gonna do with that? I'm gonna duplicate it. Boop. Then I'm gonna bring in the chip tune lead the second part. Actually, I'm going to have the chip tune lead play all the way through. Yeah, there's two ways you can loop it. You can also just like, if you hover over to the edge here, the loop kind of has a loop where you just drag it. Or you can just uh, press Command R to duplicate it. So let's listen to this again. Kind of like how that just comes in. So you can experiment a lot of ways like that when you're making your intros. All right, so we made the intro a bit. Like I said, we stripped it down. Uh, Let's strip it down just a little bit more. Remove this. See how that sounds. Cool. So now the next part we're going to make is our verse. Now, traditionally, a lot of verses have 16 bar patterns, so this is what a 16 bar pattern would look like. So let's uh, put our, our chords in so we can have some rhythm. Um, let's put our 808 in. And then let's start using these as building blocks. So that's what I really like about when I'm arranging is that I'm just using a lot of the stuff that I created as building blocks afterwards. So what I want to have in there is for sure, oh, what I like to do when I'm making these, arranging these drums, is um, have these drums go like that, all the way through, cut it halfway in the middle, also do the same right here at the end. Move these, only have these come on the second half of the verse. And then kind of have, just see how that sounds right there for now. 
So let's listen to how it comes in. See? Now let's also bring in this crash. Let's cut this crash. Let's also isolate this part. If you use the marquee tool, you can just do that. Let's listen. Then we're gonna bring this one in again. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to be simple with it. So we're just we're just gonna loop a lot of this stuff. Unmute this. Let's just see how that sounds. So that's sounding really good already. So if you open this up right here, you can uh, name, can drop some names right here. So I'll just put an intro right there, move the playhead right here, marker, right verse, move the playhead right here, press that plus sign, type in hook, and yeah, so what I like to do is usually that's how fast I make my beats. Usually already done by then. Just duplicate it. Uh, also, if you want to add some other stuff, some other seasoning into the sauce, there's so many things we can do. So let's, let's close that like that. We're gonna add some transitions. Uh, remember this crash? Okay, we're gonna open that crash. Put it this way. This is a dope. This is a dope trick. So, just gonna widen this playlist so you can see better. Okay, I'm gonna move that right there. I'm gonna cut this so that it's lined up. We'll click it. You can see it. Now we're going to press file right here, we're going to go to functions, we're going to press reverse. So now this is a really cool trick. It's good for transitions, so if you want to go to like from, from intro to verse really well and you don't want to have it sound like it's just dropping in out of nowhere, take a listen. Smooth, flawless. Now we're just gonna add that in a few other places. Let's throw my tag on this. Uh, this tag is made by my homie Matt Mac. Shout out to Matt Mac for getting me this tag. It's really lit. I really love it. Really make sure that it's that we can position it on time. Oh yeah, it's gonna be lit. Let's take a listen. Hey C7, where you where you where you at?
Yeah, we made our thing, so I don't know. Let's let's name it. Also, remember to always save. That's something we didn't do right away, especially after we started making a bunch of parts. We want to save this. Let's call it bass beat. Or the basement beat. Because that's where I'm at. Right now, in my basement, just chilling. CJ Grizz. Also, make sure it's on folder so that everything is all in a folder, not in package. Make sure you save it on folder. So when we save it, ooh, everything's being saved in a folder. Nice package. So that's our whole beat. So let's say you also want to like export it. See right here, bounce. Press that. Or you can also just go to edit here and uh, press bounce. Uh, uh, export. Oh, yeah, uh, that's better just pressing bounce right here on your stereo out. Press bounce. You can choose uh, if you want to make out a WAV file. Uh, have this PCM check WAV. Or if you want to make an MP3 file just for, like for listening, you'd want to make an, a WAV file for like proper editing and mastering. And uh, if you want to like upload it on a website, like have like a real good. Uh, quality version of it but mp mp3 so i usually put on mp3 so press ok make sure you choose where you want to bounce it bounce it onto my desktop again Alright, so we got this on the desktop. Let's take a listen. Ah, yeah. Hey, C7, where you, where you, where you at? Oh yeah, so we made this beat, guys. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys learned a lot. Definitely gonna keep doing more of this. It's really been fun. Uh, really like to give a give a shout out. Thanks to Create to Learn. Thanks to Taking a Global. 